Hello, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening and welcome. This beautiful day, which is Monday, as I may know, is raining like some places right now. Um, pretty much at home here where I am is raining. You will see, you will hear like a like, you know, the raining as a background. Hello, Raul. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Welcome. How was your day? Are you good? Yes. Oh, sounds pretty good. Is, is it is it raining? Um. Yes. Is, oh yeah. W where are you? I do. No, where where are you? Are you in Santa Ana? Are you in San Miguel? Ah, no, San Salvador. Oh, San Salvador. Oh, very good. Thank you. Yeah, like pretty much all San Salvador is raining. Laura is here. Hello, Laura. Good. Good evening. How are you? Um, so so. Oh, oh thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh what is your profession or occupation, Laura? What do you do for a living? Uh, I am radiology. Oh, right, diologist. Oh, sounds pretty amazing. Yeah, sounds pretty interesting. Is that difficult? Um, yes. Um, creo que todo. <laughs> oh, everything. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh, what is your schedule? What is your like? like work schedule Pardon? what is your work schedule is okay a schedule a schedule uh, de que hora, que hora trabaja? what is your work schedule the um, at uh seven seven thirty seven thirty a.m in the morning Yes, um, 2 p.m. Oh, two that, oh, that's very good. That's very, is that a part-time or a full-time job? Full-time, full-time. Oh, sounds very interesting. Okay. Yes, uh, my job uh, Santa Ana. Oh, in Santa Ana, that's very far away. Do you do you I, live in I Santa am, Ana? No, San Salvador. Oh, so you travel like every day over there just for that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, that, that's very interesting. That's very interesting because I have some co-workers that that live in Santa Ana and they work here in San Salvador, so they travel a lot every single day. So you're doing the opposite. You're going from here to there. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. Do do you do you go by bus or do you go like uh, driving there? Bus. Oh, you take the bus. Yeah, because it's cheaper, right? It's cheaper than than taking like a taxi or maybe driving. It's say more much uh, stressful. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about it. Like that's that's the way these kind of jobs are, right? Like there is like. The only time that that is like we can have a rest is like when we don't work. When we don't work, that part is my favorite, right? Uh, what about you, Raúl? What is your profession or occupation? What do you do for a living? Como que se dice negocio familiar? Bueno, negocio familiar thing. Oh, it's like a family business. It's like a family business. Yes. Oh, what kind of business is that? What kind of business is that? Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you have a pupuseria, like if you have like, I don't know, a no. restaurant. Uh, it's venta de verduras y frutas. Oh, oh, it's like a, like a fruit market. It's like a fruit market or vegetable market. Oh, that's very good. I love, I love vegetables and fruit. That's my favorite thing. Okay, out of all kinds of food, vegetables and fruit, I'm a Ruth, he's here. Hello, Ruth. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you so much, Raul. That was very good. Hello, Ruth. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you today? 
I'm fine, thanks, teacher. And That's you? pretty good. What do you do for a living, Ruth? What? What do you do for a living? Like, what is your profession or occupation? Mm -hmm. Are you a doctor? Are you a nurse? Are you a politician? Are you a carpenter? I don't know. <laughs> what is your profession or occupation, Ruth? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? I'm sorry. Que casi no le escucho, teacher. Oh, I apologize. It's, I apologize. I'm sorry. No. What, ¿A qué se dedica usted? What is your profession or occupation? Um, I am a, a student. Oh, you're a student. Student of um, the medicine. Oh, medicine. Also, oh, you are going to be a doctor. Yes? Yes. Oh, so is that difficult, Ruth? It's difficult. Oh, really? Why? Why is difficult? Este... ¿Por qué es difícil? Yes, sí, ¿por qué es difícil? Why is difficult? Por, digamos, para decir que las, las materias son, y el, y el área también de, de trabajo ya, más que todo haciendo turnos, las nocturnidades en el in the, in the hospital. Entonces todo unido ya como que es bien... It's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah. Oh, I, I respect like doctors because they work a lot. Doctors, I mean, like they, they work a lot. You say something about night shift, right? Night shift. Cuando trabajan en la noche, night shift. That is heavy. That is heavy. And, and at the same time, if you're studying also, it's heavy because it's a, a lot of I don't know, let's say you get tired really quick and you do a lot of things. So it's like my respect for these people because it's like, if you're studying that truth, like my respect to you and, and don't give up, okay? No se rinda, like, I know it's difficult as you mentioned before, but keep, keep doing it, okay? Thanks. You will you will like succeed. Okay, this is gonna be today's Thank agenda, you. as you may see. This is section number four. Do you like rap? That is the thing we are going to work today. Do you like rap? We're going to work with comparative adjectives and we're going to work a little bit with double H questions with do. Again, we're working with simple present tense. What is simple present tense? Everything you do every single day, right? Every single day you do something and that is simple present. Uh, before we get into some practice, I will take the attendance. Just give me a minute, because I think I have it here with me. Just give me some time. When you hear your beautiful name, say prison or I'm here, okay? Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. It's eight to nine, eight to nine. Oh, let me switch account. Uh, okay, it's this one. Okay, here we go. Give me a minute. Give me a minute because this thing is, is not in. Oh, come on. Okay, let me check. Uh, no. 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 Okay, let me check. Oh, no. And eh, no. No, I know. Okay, let me check. Oh, I don't find you here. Okay. Okay, I, I find you. Just give me a minute. I think I find you. Uh -huh. uh, we're gonna have today is like uh, Monday 28th, right? So, Alison, Daniela, Celaya. Hello, teacher. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Eh, Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. Ana Marisol, are you here? Hello, Ana. No? Okay. 
What about Andrea Marisol's represa? Andrea Marisol represa? No, okay. What about um, Andrea Vanessa Landos? Andrea Vanessa Landos? No. Okay, um, Barbara Cabrera. Hello, Barbara. No, okay. Oh, Andrea Vanessa Landos, you're here, right? Yes or no? Andrea Vanessa Landos, no? Okay, um, Brenda Castro. Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda, and welcome. Um, Carolina del Carmen Perez Hernandez. Carolina del Carmen Perez? No? Okay. Um, Claudia Lopez. Thank you, Claudia. Are you here, Claudia? Yes, right? Let me check here really quick. I think she was the one who was like, yeah. Claudia, thank you, Claudia. I got you. Thank you so much. Um, Cristina Monge. Hello, Cristina. Are you here? Yes or no? No, she's absent. Okay, Daniela Asensio. Daniela Asensio. Present. Thank you. It's nice to have you, Daniela. Um, Edgar Portillo. Hello, Edgar. Welcome, 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 Edgar. Yes, no? Okay, Ernesto. Misael. Ernesto? Hello, hello? No? Hello, teacher, I'm here. Thank you so much, Ernesto. Welcome. Okay. Uh, Griselda? Griselda Moreno? Present. Thank you. It's nice to have you one more time. Um, Ivania uh, Mendoza. Ivania Mendoza? No? Okay, she's absent. Uh, Jennifer Torres. Hello, Jennifer. Dear mister. Thank you. It's nice to have you. Uh, Jennifer Moss. Jennifer Moss? No, she's absent. Okay, what about um, Andre Jennifer Andrea Marroquin? Jennifer Andrea Marroquin? Hello, Jennifer. No? Okay, what about Jocelyn Mancia? Hello, Jocelyn. Hello, teacher. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Karen Garcia. Present teacher. Welcome. It's nice to have you, Karen. Um, Carla Colocho. Hello, Carla. Are you here? No. Okay. Laura Molina. Hello, Laura. Present. Teacher. Thank you, Laura. Welcome. Leslie Orellana. Hello, Leslie. Are you here? No. Okay, Lisbeth de Rodriguez. I'm here, teacher. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Perfect, Lorena. Nice to have you one more time. Lucia Cepeda. Thank you. Hello, Lucia. Are you here? No, she's absent. What about Mayra Mendez? Are you here, Mayra? No, 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 okay, she's absent. What about Raul? You're here, right, Raul? I'm here. Um, Rodi Dalila, Dalila Barona. Hello, teacher. Welcome, Dalila. Ruth del Carmen Chicas. Hello, Ruth. Hello. Welcome, Hello. it's nice to have you. Stephanie Quintanilla. Hello, Stephanie. Are you here? No, she's absent. Okay. I will say the attendance one more time later today so we can check that. Dalila. Hello, Dalila. Welcome. How are you? Hello, teacher. Where are you Very right good. now, Dalila? Very Where good. are you? Where are you? Mm hmm. Dalila, entiende la pregunta? Where are you? I am at home in San Marcos. Where are you? 
que de dónde soy o dónde estoy. ¿Cómo, cómo? Las dos cosas, las dos cosas. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. I am, sería, I am from, no. No, I am in. No. I am from or I am in. Cualquiera de los dos puede ocupar. I am from in Aguachapan. Oh, you're from Aguachapan. Okay, that's very good. That's very far away, right? Aguachapan. Is, is it raining? Is it raining, Dalila? En la tarde. ¿Está lloviendo? Oh. Is it raining right now? En, ahorita no, en la tarde sí. Oh, it rained, it rained before. Okay. Con like, truenos y todo. Oh my gosh, that's impressive. What about you, Griselda? Where are you? Hello, hello, Griselda. Where are you, Griselda? Or let's, where are you from? Let's say, where are you from? Where are you from? I am from San Salvador. Oh, really? Is it raining right now? Yes. Oh, some spray. Do you like it? Yes, me gusta. Yes, do you like it? When it rains? Yes. <laughs> sí. Exactly. Thank you so much. Ernesto, where are you, Ernesto? Hello, teacher. Um, <clears throat> I'm in, uh, I'm living in Suchitoto. Suchitoto, what is that thing? What is that? Is that in Santa Ana, San Miguel? No. Cuscatlán. Cuscatlán. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. The department, right? <laughs> oh, Kohut is close to Kohute. Oh, and now I get it. I'm sorry. I'm really okay. bad with, with departments like here for Lake Salvador. Okay, I'm sorry. Is it raining, Ernesto? Is it raining over there? Uh, yes. Um, yes, it's, it, it's raining it's right raining. now. Oh, that's very good. Do you like it? Uh, no, uh, I don't like it. I don't listen. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. This is going to be today's agenda. Everybody, we're going to work with simple present and comparatives as well. Okay. Vamos a ver un poco de material that we have available. Este video that I'm going to show you está available in a platform, right? In la plataforma, usted lo ve el video. Claro, yo lo voy a proyectar aquí en el caso no se vea bien. Yes, let me know when it's done. Okay, let's listen and watch. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section four. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music do you listen to or like? Very much. Do you... ¿Escucharon todos? Did you hear the conversation very well? ¿Escucharon? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Let me check. Uh, Jennifer Guadalupe Torres. What is this conversation about? ¿De qué se trata is this conversation? Le está preguntando de que si le gusta el rap, él le contesta de que no, que no es su no es su género y le pregunta qué tipo de música le gusta. Le gusta que le dice que le gusta el pop, la música pop. That's very eh, good, Eminem, uh, Jennifer. Jennifer, who is Eminem? Es un cantante rapero. 
Oh, do, you, do you do you know him? ¿Cómo? Do you know him? Sí. ¿Conoce alguna música de él? Mm, I don't remember the number. The, oh, the, the, the name. name. Okay. Yeah. What about Celine Dion? Do you know who is Celine Dion? Yeah, Celine Dion. Sí. <laughs> who's Who's that Celine Dion? ¿Quién es? Who's that Celine Dion? Es una cantante de pop, pero es super. Oh, <laughs> oh do, do you know one song that famous one famous song from her? Mm, so, so, so. Well, dígame el nombre de una canción from Celine Dion. Um, ayúdale Ernesto, ayúdale Ernesto, ¿vale? Right? Teacher, I don't listen. It's oh, running I'm very <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh -huh, Jennifer? What is that famous song? Jocelyn, ayúdele, please. Jocelyn, Natalia, Mancia, ayúdele. Dígame. What is that famous song from Celine Dion? Everybody knows that song. Dígame esa, esa canción famosa de Celine Dion. No sé cuál es. Oh my God. There a is a mí, movie. A mí la que me gusta se llama. La Titanic Teacher. Titanic, very good. Titanic. That is the that is the name of the song, right? Like I think I think the heart goes on. Okay. I guess that's the, the the heart goes on. I think that is the name of the song, and it's from the Titanic movie. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much for remembering that. What is your favorite music, Jocelyn? Do you have a favorite music? Mi música favorita. Yeah. Mm, salsa. Salsa. What is that? Salsa. También bachata. Oh, bachata. Can you can you name one singer from salsa and one from bachata, please? Una canción. No, un singer. Un singer. Mm. Cantante, un singer. Tell me one singer from bachata. Bueno, el más famoso, el más famoso es Prince Royce o, o Aventura. Oh, Prince Royce. Los más famosos. And, and what about salsa? What about salsa? Salsa. Ay, no me puedo los nombres, pero se procura mujeres. Me es muy bonita, pero no me acuerdo quién la canción. <laughs> okay. Bueno, so ¿quién canta la canción? What is your favorite song? Song. Mm -hmm. mm. No tengo favorito. Oh, you don't have a favorite. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing that. What about you, Raul? What is your favorite music? Mm, my favorite music are rock and roll, trova. Trova? What is trova? What is that? Perdón? What is trova? Ah, música cubana. Es un, oh. es un género que se generó, es un tipo de música, de música que se generó en Cuba. Otros artistas también la cantan. Oh. What is your favorite song? Mm, Silvio Rodríguez. Oh, that's your favorite singer. Uh, cantante, right? Singer es... Ah, sí. uh -huh, singer, cantante. Ok. Dígame. What is your favorite song, let's say? Ah, uh, este. Bueno, son varias, pero de diferentes géneros. Por ejemplo, de, de música de trova me gusta eh, El Unicornio Azul. Este. Eh, Por quien merece amor. Oh, that's very romantic. Is that a romantic thing? Sí, yes. Very good. Otras canciones que me gustan. Okay, <laughs> very good. What about you, Griselda? What is your favorite music? Mm -hmm. yeah, my favorite music, uh, el pop. Oh, pop music. What kind of uh, artists or singers do you do you listen to? Son pocos, pero bueno, me identifico. No me identifico. Me gusta mucho la de la oreja de bambú. Oh. Okay, what is your favorite song? What is your favorite song? Casi todas. Pero yeah. la más sonada es 
creo que flores a la orilla del mar, algo así se llama. O, eh, bueno, la playa, por ejemplo, es una de sus mejores éxitos. Oh, sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Well, we have different kinds of music. Pop music. Pop music, people. Es una de las cosas más hermosas que puede haber para aprender inglés. Right? So you can use this music to practice, like listening, and to practice speaking. Okay? That is the two ways that we can use pop music when learning English. Okay? There is a website that is called Lyrics. Training. Hay un website que se llama Lyrics Training, where you have the music and you have the lyrics. So you listen the music and then you like fill in the blanks. Completa unas partes que están ausentes en la, en la letra de la canción. So you can practice English as well. Okay. Um, so again, pop music. Te les recomiendo que escuchen pop music when you're learning English porque es bastante fácil la, pues, la pronunciación. Right. Entonces, la mayoría de letras, por ejemplo, tenemos pop music artists. Nowadays, like Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift, um, somewhere else like Pink, um, Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars. Uh, estos artistas pop cantan eh, music, right? Que es bastante, like, uh, very simple to understand. You know what I mean? The pronunciation is very clear. And most of the time, they sing like music that is vocabulary that is very easy to understand. So if you have the chance, right? Escucha una canción y practica la pronunciation and the listening as well. Here we're talking about Celine Dion and Eminem. Okay, do you have a question about this reading? I'm sorry, about this conversation. Se ve bien en la pantalla. La ven bien? Okay, se ve, si se ve borroso, I'm sorry, but that's... Se ve muy your... pequeño. Oh, yeah, <laughs> se ve small, yeah, that is true, I'm sorry. Esta cosa se ve small, yo no lo puedo hacer más grande. I apologize, okay. We're going to move on to the next one, so you don't get like... Piano, no. Okay, we're going to work with this one here. Esto creo que ya lo hicimos, right? I guess, yes, we did it. Answer the question, giving your own information. We have this material here and this subject. Are you the mayor this subject? Um, Dalila, por favor. Dalila, are you the mayor of those objects, please? Thank you. Your material. Solo los nombres de los objetos. Los nombres y también el material, please. Thank you. Sería desde donde dice answer this question, give your own information. Yes. Gold, gold ring, tablet, hiking boots, wool gloves, black sunglasses, silver ring, laptop computer, sneaker, le Letter, letter gloves, white sunglasses. Continue. Thank you, so Thank you so much. Okay. Pronunciation, tenemos aquí gold ring. We have a tablet. Hiking boots. Wood gloves. Black sunglasses. Silver mm -hmm. ring. Laptop computer. Sneakers, and we have a leather gloves, right? And white sunglasses. Okay, we have white sunglasses as well. What do we have in here? Below this one, we have some questions. We have one, two, three, four, and five questions. Okay, these questions are related to this kind of objects and materials that we have here. We have this, the double edged word, which, which. When do we use which when we have options, right? Which ring do you prefer? The silver one or the gold one? So you need to answer like in the example, I prefer the gold one. So you need to select the options. Do you understand? Como van a hacer este exercise? Yes? Este creo que es un similar que hicimos last Thursday, I guess, right? Aquí va a seleccionar usted según sus gustos, right? Which do you like more? the tablet or the laptop computer, okay? 
Which ones do you like more? The hiking boots or the sneakers? Which ones do you prefer? The wood gloves or the leather gloves? Which sunglasses do you like better? The black ones or the white ones? So you need to answer like this one, right? I prefer, okay? Y aquí, si tenemos el segundo, por ejemplo, it says, which one do you like? You need to answer like, uh, I like, I like, and then you select the option more, right? Like that. Do you understand? Do you understand, Jocelyn, cómo va a ser este ejercicio? Jocelyn, ¿tiene? ¿Tiene preguntas o dudas? Uh, eh, sí, tengo dudas. Hola, Dígame. Okay. Eh, dice que el ejemplo que usted le dice, I prefer the word one. Uh -huh. Voy a contestar. Sí, así es la, sería como el ejemplo para ir contestando las siguientes preguntas, ¿verdad? Exacto, exacto. Ok, voy a... Siempre va a ir eligiendo entre dos, entre la tablet aquí y luego la laptop computer. Luego tenemos la hiking boots y los sneakers. Luego tenemos... Entre esos dos. Exacto. Uh -huh. Entonces usted va a ir seleccionando pues, uno de los... de las two options that you have available. Yes. Ruth, ok. ¿Do you understand, sí. Ruth? Hello, hello, Ruth. Una consulta. Yes. Este, ahí yes. veo que dice, en la primera dice pre, pre, de Prefer. preferir. Ajá, entonces, y en las dos dice de gustar. Entonces, vamos a decir, por ejemplo, la primera dice, yo prefiero el qué? Uno de, de qué? De, de, de oro. Y en la segunda sería, a mí me gusta. Exacto, exacto. Uh -huh. Y así se decía. Like that. Very good. Exacto. Dependiendo del contexto, en uno dice, which one do you like more? ¿Cuál te gusta más? Y en la otra es, which one do you prefer? ¿Cuál prefieres? Right? Yes. Like that. Very good. Very good. Lisbeth, thank you. For example, in number, number two, um, I like the laptop computer. You can say, I like more. I like more. The laptop mm -hmm. computer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly like that. I like more the laptop computer. Mm -hmm. Like that. Just in one is going to be with like, uh, like, and the other one is with with prefer. Okay. Yes. Questions? Si alguien no entiende, let me know anytime so we can talk about this thing, right? Let me know. Let me know anytime. Yeah, I teach us to be, Okay, Carla. No problem. It's nice to have you one more time. Got it. Okay. Again, people, si no entiende, me avisa. Okay. Y si tiene questions, let me know, right? Karen? Let me know anytime. Yes. If you have a question, I'm here. Let me know. This is about, again, we're working with comparatives. Estamos trabajando con comparativos donde también estamos, pues, comparando two things, right? Y, pues, seleccionamos una de esas dos. Es como que vamos a elegir. Yep. We have two types of sunglasses. White sunglasses and we have black sunglasses. Si prefieren los white, that's racist. Okay? So, I, you're right. <laughs> you select the, the black ones, okay? You select the, the, the black one. Okay. Uh, Jennifer, do you understand or do you have a question? Sí, entiendo. Okay, Ruth, do you understand, Ruth? Hello, Ruth. Yes. Este, dijo que podíamos responder, I like more or exactly. I prefer. Exactly. Dependiendo cómo estamos acá, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
when you finish, raise your hand so you can participate anytime. Okay. Okay, Lisbeth, please. Okay, um, I like more a laptop computer. Computer. Perfect, Lisbeth. Thank you so much. See you. Yes, continue. Okay, um, and number three, I like more the, the leather gloves. And number four, um, I prefer... No, number three is we have boots and we have sneakers. I'm sorry. Um, I like more... Um, uh, the snack, the sneaker. Okay, number four, good. I prefer the 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 wolf glove. And number five, I like I like better um, white sunglasses. Sunglasses. Okay. Very good, Lorena. Thank you. Okay. Which one do you like more, the tablet or the lap or the laptop computer? I like more the tablet. Number three. Which ones do you like more, the hiking boots or the sneakers? I like more the sneakers. Which ones do you prefer, the wool gloves or the leather gloves? I prefer the wool gloves. Which sunglasses do you like better? The black ones or the white ones? I like better the black ones. Perfect. Thank you so much. Great job, Lorena. Okay. So the way your classmates did it, that is the way you're supposed to do it at home, right? Like in the example in here. We're going to continue working with some extra material that we have for today. Comparative adjectives. We were working on this one last class, so today we will like emphasize a little bit more on this one. If you notice here, we have some adjective and here we have a comparative. In the middle, we have some examples, okay? Yes. Um, we have this cheap, small, big, good, and warm. And then we have the comparative form. If you notice, we have cheaper than, Smaller than, bigger than, better than. And we have warmer than, okay? And here we have some information that we can use to create sentences. We have the first one with renting, buying a house, apartment, houses, United States, El Salvador, pupusas, tacos, coats, and we have sweaters. So. How do we create sentences with this one? To compare two things, right? Ayúdeme, Griselda, con un ejemplo, please. Yep. Aquí tiene el material. ¿Qué va a hacer usted? Comparar estas dos cosas in the middle utilizando el comparative. Okay? Yes? Mm -hmm. Acuérdense que con los comparativos y los superlativos utilizamos esa hermosa cosa that we call verb to be. Yes? ¿Cuál es el verb to be? This beautiful thing that is called am. We use is. Or we use are. According to the context, right? Yes? Mm -hmm. So, si alguien tiene un ejemplo que le para ayudar a la Griselda, raise your hand. So you can say that. We're working with comparatives, right? This is like the, the like the, the things that we are going to compare, and this is the comparative adjective. Yeah. So we are comparing. For example, uh, El Salvador is smaller than Uni United States. 
Oh, okay. One more time, Brenda. El Salvador, El Salvador is a smile that, uh, ¿cómo se dice Estados Unidos? The United no States. The United I mean, States. Uh, the United States. Okay, very good, very good. Porque you mentioned the El Salvador is smaller than the United States. Very good. Uh, the United States. Very exactly. Good. Exactly. That's very good, Brenda. Beautiful. I love it. Thank you. Alison, thank, thank you so much. Teacher, for example, in this case, for in the adjective, in the example in the um is reading renting como se dice rentar renting 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 is more cheaper than buying a house but buying a house okay yeah. okay solo que ahí se hay un inconveniente porque me le agregó more acuérdense ah. que el more es cuando el, el adjetivo es largo Más de tres por sílabo. Okay. En este caso, solo va a decir renting. Lo voy a escribir aquí para que tengan una idea de lo que estamos hablando. Y es, solo déjenme ver si me deja escribir aquí. Renting, ok. Uh, is cheaper, ok, ver to be, than buying a house. Ok. So, if you notice, this is the way we're going to do it. Yep, right? Here we have renting is cheaper than buying a house. So we are comparing two things, All right? What do you do? Primero upon the first thing, lo que va a comparar. In the middle, you have is, could be verb to be, because that's the context, cheaper than, and then you, you, you compare with another object, right? So you compare, you need two objects. To compare, you need two objects. Renting and buying a house. In the middle, you put verb to be and the adjective with comparative form. Very good, Alisa. Great job. And so, it, um, apartments are smaller than house. Exactly. 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 Okay. Pero ahí como quedaría? Are. Exactly. Very are. good, Barbara. Apartments are smaller than houses. Very good. Exactly. Entonces, así es como you, you make in comparative things, right? Using comparative adjectives. ¿Cuáles utilizamos? Utilizamos los de acá, this one. ¿Por qué? Porque ya están modificados. Usted se fija, mire, ER, 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 and ER. And then we have the expression than, 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 right? So we can say renting is cheaper than buying a house. Yeah? And again, you need to compare between two things, something and something. Yes, Raúl Reyes, thank you. Gente, por ejemplo, en mi caso que yo reto una casa, sería... Your, your microphone, your microphone, Raúl, is, is off. It's off, I'm sorry. Ah. Este, por ejemplo, en mi caso que yo alquilo, sería, I am renting cheaper than buying a house. No. Pero rento, no sé, o el, el, el ejemplo sería así, I am renting. That is something, else. eso significa otra cosa. ¿Sí? Ah, Porque sí. si me dice, I am renting a house, pues yo no entiendo, está rentando una casa, y espero no me está comparando. You know what I mean? Uh, that means something else. Yes. Para compararme, tiene que utilizar los dos objetos. Ok. Uh, si usted me dice, I am renting a house, yo sí le entiendo que me está rentando una casa, right? That is true. Uh -huh. Pero en la oración no me está comparando. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Ya si me dice, I am renting a house because, because it is cheaper than buying a house. Ahí sí ya está comparando. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Very good. Very good, but you got the idea, Raúl. That's very good. Ruth, thank you. Uh, for example, El Salvador is better than Nicaragua. <laughs> that is true. That is true. 
Hundred percent. Hundred percent, Ruth. That's very good. Yeah, that's very good. Right. Great job. Also, you can compare foods, right? You can compare food. We have pupusas and types. You can compare clothes as well, right? You can compare cars. You can compare cities. You can compare everything you want. The only thing you need to do is like um, use the appropriate adjective, okay? Yes? Si yo digo, por ejemplo, que Andrea es al, más alta que... Que, que Carlos, so you need to, I need to use the appropriate adjective para compararlos, right? Yes. So just be careful with the adge adjectives you are going to use. And because like the rest is, is quite like that. So you just need to use one thing and then in the middle use the verb to be. Remember, verb to be, we have plural and we have singular. Yep. And then you need to use the adjective and the expression than, which is this one that right and then you need to write the other object that you have yes dalila do you have a question no teacher eh, you... bueno aunque aquí estoy viendo en el ejemplo de las pupusas y tacos acá dice good y luego es better be Ajá, better mm -hmm. Entonces significaría que, bueno, eligiendo, depende. Si al que le gustan más las pupusas, tendría que decir que significaría que son mejores que los tacos. Yes, yes. O más buenos o, o mejores sería directamente la palabra. Porque mm -hmm. como good es como bueno. Sí, el otro es mejor. Mejor. Es. mejor. Mm -hmm. Solo acuérdese que con good, acuérdese que good es irregular. Por eso, si usted se fija, aquí ya no dice gooder. Aquí ya cambia better. Mira, aquí dice bigger, big, bigger. Uh -huh. Se mantiene, right? Pero aquí tenemos good. Ya aquí, en esta parte de aquí, ya no aparece que diga así, por ejemplo, gooder. Right? Ya no dice gooder. ¿Por qué no dice esto así? Pues porque es irregular. ¿Se acuerdan que lo seguimos viendo en la clase on Thursday? Creo. Si como es irregular, va a ir de esta forma. Better. ¿Ok? Pupusas are better than that. Okay. Yep. Very good, Ruth. Very good. Yep. Again, what are we doing? Comparing two things, right? Podemos comparar todo. The only thing that we need to know is the appropriate adjective to use. Yes. Ahora, estos son los short adjectives, right? Short adjectives, things that are short. You know what I mean? Things that are short, like cheaper, smaller, bigger, better. And, and then we have different adjectives like this one. So I'm going to show you. Espérenme que esta cosa carga. Voy a pasar a la siguiente página. Right? I, will, I will go to the next slide. Okay, so we can continue working on this material available for you. Les voy a compartir. Ay, no, esta cosa no me deja. Les voy a compartir en el chat de Zoom el, el link donde pueden encontrar estos adjetivos y su respectiva pronunciación. Hay un montón ahí. Entonces, ¿qué les recomiendo? Pues agarre 20 y aprendas esos 20. ¿verdad? No se los va a aprender todo de un solo, porque es difícil. ¿vale? ¿Cómo se los aprende? Usando. Al grupo. Ok. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Al grupo también. Oh, if I will do it. I will do it. Solo déjenme copiar esto que esta cosa no me deja. Okay, then I go paste. No, no, no. Okay, let me ver. No puedo copiarlo. Jesus. Give me a break. Copiar. No me deja. No, no me deja. No puedo. Lo voy a buscar y se los envío en el, en el chat de WhatsApp. El link. Ok. Ok. I'm, I'm sorry for that. I couldn't send it. You. I apologize. No uh, but I will send it to you later, later today. Ok. We have this exercise. Again, about comparing two things, right? These cotton dresses are nice. But the silk ones are... ¿Cómo creen que quedaría? Okay, I'm sorry. 
¿Cómo que quedaría? Ajá. Ok, thank you so much for the music. Ok, ¿cómo que quedaría en el otro? Let it be. Nicer. Nicer. Very good. Nicer, right? Nicer. Yes. So we have nicer. Very good. Okay. Let's continue. What is the next they, one? They are more expensive. Also. 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 <laughs> Sorry. <More. laughs> why? Why? Porque utilizo more? Because it's a long uh, adjective. Exactly. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, because it's long adjective, right? Whenever we have a long adjective, we use we use more. Okay. Cuando comparamos, we use more. Okay. So this is the way we do it. How do we learn this thing by practicing, right? Ayúdeme Laura Molina a leer todo esto que está aquí, please. Thank you. These cotton dresses are nice. Uh, yes, but the silk ones are nicer. And they are as more expensive. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. So this is the way we use it, right? When we go to buy, when we go to buy something, that is the way we use this thing. Let me move to the next slide. Okay, very good. Just give me, let me delete this one. Okay. Um, here we have another example. I need you to take a screenshot, take a screenshot uh, of this exercise so you can do it. Ernesto? Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, how do you say also in Spanish? Okay, also, what is the meaning in, in Spanish? Also. Creo que es como the... también, también o además. Uh, okay. También o además. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have this exercise. Tome la screenshot, captúrelo ahí, so you can do it. Okay, I need to take the attendance. Sorry again. I need to take the attendance. So this is about using the adjectives. Again, here in the middle, in, in parentheses, we have the adjectives here, right? Cheap, small, big, attractive, uh, pretty, and good. So you need to use the comparative and then and then in the in the blank space. Yeah. Yep. This is about comparing. We have different kinds of things like silver earrings, gold earrings, leather coat, wood coat, orange shirt, gray shirt. So we are comparing. Siempre que comparamos son two things that we need to compare. Okay? Siempre tenemos que compare between two things. Yeah? So what are you going to do is you are going to use the comparative adjectives that we have in parentheses to compare these two things. ¿Entendió, Dalila, cómo va a ser this exercise? Dalila? No, teacher. ¿Entendió cómo va a ser este ejercicio? No, understand. Okay. ¿No entiende nada? No, teacher, estaba tomando screenshot. Oh, okay, I'm no, sorry. No, no le puse atención. Ok, ok. Vaya, tenemos los adjetivos en paréntesis, ¿sí? ¿yes? En paréntesis. Los que vamos a utilizar para hacer las comparaciones, ¿sí? ¿yes? Entonces, cuando usted lo escriba en el blank space, tiene que ponerle Esto que está aquí, ER, dependiendo cómo sea el adjective. Si es largo, le agrega more. Y si es small, solo le agrega ER. Uh -huh. Y luego la palabra than. ¿Yes? Than, yes. ¿qué significa qué va? Eh, exacto, exacto. Sirve solo para comparar. Eso, eso solo enfóquese que ese than sirve solo para comparar. ¿Ya? Yeah. It's cheaper than. Siempre va a ir. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Cuál es el significado? Pues, pues para comparar. That is the thing. Yes. I will say the attendance. Uh, when you hear your name, say present or I'm here. One more time. Okay. Give me a minute. Ay, espérame que le iba a dar compartir. 
Okay, um, Alison, Daniela, uh, Ana, Marisol, Zamora. Present teacher. Thank you, Alison. Andrea, Marisol, represa. Hello, Marisol, represa. No. Okay, what about Andrea, Landos? Present. Thank you, Andrea. Uh, Barbara, Alejandra Cabrera. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome, Barbara. Um, oh my gosh. Um, uh, Brenda. Carolina. Present, thank you, Brenda. Carolina del Carmen Perez. No? Okay. Claudia Giselle Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Cristina Monge. Hello, Cristina. No. Um, Daniela Asensio. Edgar, you told me that you're here, right? Here. Present. Thank you, Daniela. Ernesto, Misael Ventura. Griselda. Es Ivania, Stephanie, Mendoza. Jennifer Torres. Jen or Jennifer Moss. Are you here, Jennifer Moss? No, what about Jennifer Marroquín? Jocelyn Natalia Mancia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Karen Garcia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carla Colocho. I'm here, teacher. Welcome one more time, Carla. Carla Colocho. Laura Molina. Yes, teacher. Leslie Orellana. Hello, Leslie. Are you here? No. Lisbeth. Lorena. I'm here. Thank you. Lorena del Carmen Hernández. Lucía Cepeda de Herrera. Mayra Méndez. Hello, Mayra. Are you here? No. What about you, Raúl? You're here, right? Eh, Dalila, you're here. Ruth del Carmen. Hello, Ruth. Are you here? Thank you. Um, and the last one is going to be Abigail Quintanilla. Abigail? No? Okay. Don't forget, people, that you have for this week, we have section number four. Okay. See, vayan avanzando en la plataforma, right? Where you have the different exercises and you have the different resources available for you. Yep. So we're going to work with section number, as you may see, section number four is for this week. Yeah, and you have, I think just that's the only thing you have available for this week, right? Just section number four. You have some material available there, so you can work on this one. Pero me esta cosa no me carga usted. No? Okay, entonces you have these resources here, right? Like this one, for example, este fue el video que les compartí, right? So you have the video here, so you can listen again and watch. Si no les carga aquí en la plataforma de Leo, donde dice YouTube, here para que les abra una nueva, pues, pantalla, right? And then you have more information about it. This one, we will continue working on this one tomorrow, which is about questions work. Uh, you have an exercise here, yeah? This exercise, remember that you can do it as much as possible. No importa si se equivoca, right? Solo don't forget to read the instructions. A veces, pues, tenga cuidado con las contracciones, o a veces con las capital letters, que son mayúsculas, o low letters, right? Just be careful with that. Y a veces los puntos, so we have some, some, some issues sometimes with, with that, okay? And, Remember that you can like finish the exercise. This one we're doing here in class, so you can have extra practice. Yeah. Uh, again, the more you practice on this exercise, on this material, that's the way you would do it. Okay, people. It was nice to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Good night. Okay. Practice your English, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Have a nice night.